Hello, my name is Kate Crowley. I'm Distinguished Senior Lecturer here at Teachers College Columbia University in the program of Speech Language Pathology. I'm going to share with you a story about our work in Ghana 2013. So one of my closest friends is Sarah Douglas who works at Harry Abrams Theatrical Agency here in New York. And every year at the holiday time, they identify a charity to raise money instead of Secret Santas or in addition to Secret Santas. And her son, Henry Gordon, who I've known forever, <laughs> came with us for our trip to Ghana in January of 2013. Henry's a great athlete, so I thought, well, maybe we can do something with athletics. And I remembered a story from uh, a, a documentary on a Ghanaian man with a physical disability. People wouldn't play with him. So he worked till he was able to afford a soccer ball, and the kids said, we want to play with your soccer ball. He said, fine, as long as you play with me. I thought, well, maybe we can do something about soccer balls. So Sarah and Henry found One World Football, which produces these soccer balls that don't have a bladder, that don't need a pump, that are made out of a similar material to Crocs. So we ordered 25 of these soccer balls that arrived in the middle of December. And these soccer balls we were going to distribute at a professional development retreat we were doing at the University of Cape Coast to teachers of students with intellectual disabilities from throughout Ghana. We first went to the Ghanaian consulate here in New York and met with the deputy ambassador and talked to him about the balls, and who then in turn contacted Sarah Stryker at the U.S. Embassy in Accra and actually came and spoke at the professional development retreat. So all the teachers at the professional development retreat received these bright blue soccer balls. Afterwards, we visited one of the schools, the Efejuasi Unit School, where Belinda Bukhari is the head teacher and we took out the soccer balls. And what happened there was magical. You couldn't tell who were the kids with disabilities and who were the typically developing kids. All you could tell is that they were having an enormous amount of fun. Henry Gordon, as you can see in the pictures, was right in the middle of things. And not only was he a sports guy, he became an invaluable part of all of our work in Ghana in 2013.